Hey, it's Cosmo Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to talk to you about Conversion Linker, which is something inside of Google Tag Manager that's uh, meant to help improve the efficacy of your tag tracking. And I also want to talk about how relevant it still is, because it sounds like Conversion Linker relies on cookies, and cookies are dying. So, uh, do we need it? Do we not? Uh, let's dive in, shall we? So, before I show you Conversion Linker, actually, let me show you the doc. Um, this is the Google Help doc on Conversion Linker and explains what it is. Conversion Linker tags are used to help measure, uh, used to help tags measure click data so that conversions are measured effectively. Um, and this was rolled out according because of something that happened in 2017. It was like, I forget the acronym, like ITP or something. Um, but it basically inhibited the ability for information to pass through a single conversion tag. And so they added this kind of as the proxy. And I think the important piece here is that the conversion linker tag automatically detects the ad click information in your conversion page URLs and stores this information in first party cookies. And so what's cool about this is um, they're taking the information from the URL and they're dropping it into the cookie so that if it doesn't pass through a form, you still have access to that information. And it, it sort of like puts it in a repository is the way to think about it. Um, the reason that I wanted to bring this up now is because cookies are, are dying. Um, there's so much happening between what what Apple is doing um, with you know basically the I don't even know what to call it it's like the sterilization of tracking you know they're putting it's like it used to be the user and um, the the web entity connected and the web entity was able to see what the user was doing and who the user was more or less and then now it's the user Apple's sort of third party proxy in the in uh, the web entity and there's this veil and and honestly that's as much as I I'm trying to communicate something that I don't even fully understand, which is dangerous. Um, but I, I think that's a, a good enough truncation of the, the situation. But all of that to say that um, the deprioritization of cookies and tracking has caused uh, a pivot. And w the biggest signal, I think, of that pivot was uh, the new version of Google Analytics, which doesn't re rely uh, entirely on cookies for tracking, which is really interesting and super creepy and very scary. Um, but also kind of cool that Google can even do that. So um, the question becomes, do I still need to use Conversion Linker instead of um, my Tag Manager? And the answer is yes. Right now, it's actually a definitive yes. So um, all the research that I've done and then the folks that I've talked to are like, yes, we still want to play the cookie game for as long as, um, as long as they're still relevant, which is most of the time. So right now, we're kind of like, you know, we've got, we've got uh, one foot on either, either side and we, we haven't crossed over entirely. So, or even really kind of began the crossover, to be honest with you. The, you know, the, the, um, the way that traditional tracking is done is still the way that it's done. And just because Google has made this massive shift doesn't mean that um, you know, the, the entire rest of the technical infrastructure that is the, you know, the sort of ubiquitous truth of the internet has shifted with it. So we still want to use Conversion Linker. I'm going to show you how to set it up. This is one thing, by the way, that I never, ever, 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 never, ever see inside of Google Tag Manager anytime I'm auditing anybody's tech stack. So you, if you're inside of Tag Manager and you go to create a new tag, so this is set up uh, via tags, um, then uh, when you select the tag configuration, it's going to ask you what type of tag you want to add. And you've got a bunch of them here. Uh, this particular one is Conversion Linker, which is from Google specifically. And when you select Conversion Linker, um, what's going to happen is you're going to um, uh, create a, a trigger for all pages, um, which is uh, and, 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 and the, the tutorial on Conversion Linker is to add it to any page where somebody uh, could land from paid advertisement. So if you've got like a massive website and um, for whatever reason this doesn't make sense for you to fire on every single page, it's perfectly fine. But if you don't, maybe just throw it on all the pages because I feel like that's the easiest. Um, and if somebody has a use case for why that doesn't make sense, please let me know. But I can't think of one. So take Conversion Linker, uh, trigger it on all pages. You're going to name this Conversion Linker, obviously. And then um, save it. And that's going to help bridge the gap on the conversions, um, you know, that you're tracking elsewhere. So hopefully you're already using Google Tag Manager, and this is a really easy thing for you to do. Um, but what's interesting about it is I stumbled upon this by accident. It was a while ago, but I didn't know that Conversion Linker needed to be used in order to improve our conversion tracking. Um, and I don't know that most people do. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see one every day. Comment if you have questions. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has been subscribing. Um, and uh, I can't wait to uh, reach that 1,000 person mark so we can start going live. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.